I love using my submission system. I enjoy it and I'm delighted by it. Said nobody. And this is what we're committed to do at, uh, at Mauricier, which is build the future of publishing workflows. You know, a lot of times we take integrity now as being an afterthought of the architecture, the infrastructure we build in our submission systems at Mercy. We're building it from a basis of integrity embedded through every step of the process. We're also building it on modern technology, so it's intelligent uh, using all of the great technologies that you're hearing here, um, connected through in, uh, third party integrations within our infrastructure. It's simple, so we pride ourselves in our UX and our user experience and our ability and intuitive way of interacting with the system. And it's connected, so all of the data sources that you hear about, many times it's very difficult to get the, that data in. This is something that we're building from the start. Authoring manuscripts, uh, many times this is the biggest challenge. You have a lot of uploads of PDFs and then sending that back to reviewers and editors. Imagine a world where in your submission system you actually have the authoring capability. We have that technology accessible to us in our normal lives through Google Docs and Word where you have uh, reviewers and track changes and commentary all tracked within one document and being able to submit it into multiple formats. That's, a, that's what a submission system should include and that makes the rest of the process easy. Imagine the hundreds of millions of dollars that go into just getting your manuscript ready for publication. If you have it set to be in a certain format from the beginning where you have the actual data uh, in your control, you can create it and, and share it and publish it in any format necessary. Managing submissions at scale is always the toughest thing and being able to visualize that, categorize that, and know which submissions are sitting in what stages is something that is an expected experience and yet uh, doesn't exist in many places, in many systems. And then being able to then assess those submissions at scale with the level of integrity, with the level of knowledge, with the level of data and markers that allow you to make decisions is something that is, uh, uh, is built into the, into the future systems. Inviting reviewers and now having machine learning and AI actually help support you with all of the data that you have about those reviewers, about the manuscript, about the topic. Because you have all of that data at your fingertips, you now get suggestions and recommendations on who to use, which then helps us to alleviate a lot of the biases that we have where we just focus on a specific reviewer pool. Now you have at your disposal the ability to, to diversify that. And now you can have a look at your entire portfolio at scale. What, what, are, what, what are the issues that you're seeing? What are the submissions and the, the scale at which you're seeing some of the issues that we've been talking about here with many of the technologies? And how do you make decisions based on that? That's the future. It's scalable, it's efficient, and hopefully it's satisfying. And that's the goal that we hold ourselves to. Thank you so much. Looking forward to talking to you soon.